we're going to create a chart. Charts are great and very easy to do in this version of Excel. I think the key to creating a chart is all in the selection of your data, at least at the beginning. We want to do a column chart, which is a good basic way to begin, and we're simply going to select our data by clicking and dragging through that. I did not include my totals because I wouldn't want to chart my totals against the individual data. You'll then go to the Insert tab in the ribbon, and we have a whole group of objects for our charts, all different kinds. You simply choose the chart that you want. I'm going to choose the um, 3D column chart, this one right here, and instantly it will open and bring your chart in. Remember that a chart is a special object, and anytime there's a special object that is added, there will be a new contextual tabs that is added to the ribbon. And if we look at that in the title bar, it tells us the title for those, and there's three of them for charts telling you there's a lot of things you can do with the chart after it's created. We have a design tab, a layout tab, and a format tab. I'm only going to get you started with a couple. Uh, one thing that I might want to do is I think the focus right now is on the individual months and I might prefer to switch the focus around to what would be considered my rows instead of my columns. And if you look in the ribbon up above, switch row and column. Instantly it compares what I am doing and changes the focus and what I'm looking at for this data. Which one is right? No answer for that. Just depends on what you're looking for and what you want to see. This works very much like other objects that you have. You can size. There's sizing handles on the corner. You can click and drag. If you place your mouse on the outside edges, when you see the four-headed arrow, you know that's a move shape, and you could move that around to other locations. I might choose that I would like my chart to be on an entire separate sheet, not embedded as part of this worksheet. Again, go to the ribbon for that, and notice that I have a move chart. I'm still in my design tab, and I'm simply going to click on it. It says I don't want it to be an object. That's what it is, an object in the sheet. I'm going to click on the radio button for New Sheet. You can give it a name, and I'm just going to call it Column Chart. When I say OK, it instantly opened up a new tab called Column Chart, and I see that it is no longer an object in my worksheet. Take a minute and look around at things that you might want to do in some of the other tabs. Remember that there's three tabs. I'm going to switch to the Layout tab. I could add titles, data labels, and many more things. Creating a chart is very easy. You just have to decide um, what you want your data to display, as that determines the type of chart that you're going to do, and then just get started. Enjoy!